Hello, it's Michael with ServiceNow one more time. So I came across something that is very exciting and very neat and almost came across it by accident, but we finally started to hear some more info about it. And this comes to the time where, you know, you're out doing your work and you're like, man, I just wish I had a tool available on my desktop that interacted with my ServiceNow instance. Well, great news for you because we now have the ServiceNow Desktop Assistant. So it is an application. Um, they have it for Windows, they have it for Mac, both for Intel x86 as well as the M series of chip. And it's really kind of neat because it gives you the ability to log into your instance and do things like check out my requests, for example, which I don't have any in this demo, um, my incidents as well, um, even some handy dandy tools like maybe a uh, network test, which you know, I've come across some uh, customers where they have kind of security lockdown where they're not allowed to try some regular test uh, wet sites for, for network. This I use a whole lot, especially as I'm traveling and I'm on site at different workshops and stuff. Um, but what's also neat about it is in addition to giving you all these, you know, kind of great links and everything, um, like I said before, it is installed on your desktop. So um, I got a Mac. There's my nice little handy dandy icon right up there. I love it. Uh, but it comes into, you know, how do you get this thing into your instance? Well, I'm not going to worry about talking about the licensing or anything like that. Um, I'm just focused on capability. But that being said, if you're in your instance, you should be able to go to plugins and find your DEX desktop assistant um, through some of the information and release notes. I think it kind of lives under the ITOM SU licensing. Um, so speak to your account team about that. Um, but that being said, you know, what I've noticed is that I'm running Utah in this particular instance and it's available. Um, so it looks like maybe Utah and Vancouver uh, are the supported instances, which Vancouver just came out. So really, if you're not on at least Utah at this point, you should be planning it. That's just a little plug for, you know, you platform admins out there. Um, but the nice thing about it also is that it is configurable. And so what do I mean by that? So looking at this desktop uh, assistant here, um, this My Incidents, for example, didn't come out of box. Uh, neither did this developer link that you know takes you to the ServiceNow developer site. Um, I had to set those up myself. And so when you do install this, uh, if you go to your instance, you are going to find, I believe, some desktop assistant portion of, of uh, the menu system now. And so this is where you can go ahead and start to create new cards or hyperlink cards. So in these hyperlink cards, um, I already put a couple in here already, one to the developer site, um, the employee center was there at a default, and this gives you the ability to say, okay, I wanna create a hyperlink card that is pointing to a particular URL, it's gonna have this little icon here, this is what the description should be. And then the other thing that we have are, we also have cards for viewing records. So that my incidents is another one that I put in there where you can just simply go through and define and say what the table is, what the name is going to be, if you're going to have an icon for it, uh, and then the visible fields as well. So um, once you get that set up, then it's really just being able to go through and configure the application with the correct tab and information. So under the desktop assistant, um, which I got to, I believe under application, um, that's where we're able to say, okay, well, let me go and say I have a tab called home. And then this is where we see the do two sections. So kind of going back to this, um, I haven't tried multiple tabs yet. I'm still playing with it. Um, but you can see here's my section of my items. Here's my resources. Um, and then of course we can go through and add in new cards to there. So under my items, um, this is where I added in the, my incident um, desktop card. And, um, you know, pretty easy for the most part. Um, you know, once you find it and install it, you got to install a plugin. Um, that plugin then will take you to the desktop assistant downloads. Like I said, got Mac for both X64 and ARM 64 windows. Um, yeah. So give it a go and try it out. Um, we'll see how this evolves over time. So thank you very much for your time and uh, have fun on the ServiceNow platform with a new, new tool here.